Your decisions decide your habits. Daily habits decide your destiny. Chinese proverb. My friends, each and every day, make it your habit to spend 10 to 15 minutes in the market. It will add up over time exponentially in the knowledge you gain and the skills you gain. And then when you've mastered the markets, don't worry about how long it takes because once you've done it, it will make up for all the time you ever spent. Become a charting master. Let's jump into the charts. Today we see stocks are up, bonds, gold, Bitcoin down. Up 1.08% is what we see for the S&P 500. I mean, just look at this. It is crazy. We had the one pullback week, first week of the new year, and then took off again. And of course, it took off back at the end of October heading up. And it has just been beautiful. Just keeps on going. I keep saying we are long, we are long, we are long, we are long. Now, we look at the high last week, 518.22. This week, 517.38. Even though we're up for the day, we haven't hit the high of last week yet. We look at where we are on the volume two days in. Could get us up to where it was the last couple of weeks. Maybe not. Maybe it's just topping out. It could be. Not saying things aren't going to roll back. We've seen some short rollbacks, no more than two days at a time. And then things sort of take off again a day, two days, day and a half. You know, we, we see it and then they just keep on keeping on. Well, at some point... This is going to stop. When is that? I don't know, but if you're on the gravy train, keep riding it. What about the NASDAQ 100? Up even more, 1.43%, but do pay attention. We have fallen through the prior week's trend line. Now, this happened before. You can see it right here where, let's see, we fell through a few weeks back. We had one of those spinning tops, and then it took off again. So, that is indeed possible again. We will keep an eye on things. I hate when you get up to the top here how that little, this little thing here, this little screen here pops right up and gets in the way. But we're below it now, so it's not going to get in our way. But we can see that we have that spinning top. We can see on the two-day. Now, again, this is the first day of the latest two-day candle. We had a spinning top, almost a doji. Last time we got a doji sitting on the two-day. So again, we'll keep an eye on things just because we had an up day doesn't mean that we couldn't be coming to the end of a pattern. Much more cautious on the NASDAQ 100 than we are on the S&P because we've breached the trend line here. We'll continue to keep an eye on things and see how they go. We had that day and a half of down movement pushing up, but has it on the half-day chart, push back through the weekly trend line. We're sitting right on it on the two-day. So if you're long on the NASDAQ 100, caution, caution. Still long, but cautious. Now, what do we see going on with 20-year bonds? Of course, we've had no signals volume-wise that have helped us at all read what's happening. Down for the day, 0.85%. You can see we've not hit the high of last week this week. We have a red down candle forming. Things moved up, and now we have a red down candle forming still above the weekly trend line on both the two-day and the half-day or the 195-minute chart. But again, down day. We will keep an eye on things. Volume's not helping us make any kind of call here. Of course, when we look back and saw when volume did help us, saw the markets move down, hit the interim low with nice higher than average volume, and then a green spinning top, a beautiful turnaround signal with high volume, and then took off. Well, we don't have that right now. So not giving us a lot of confidence. When you don't have confidence, you don't pull the trigger. What's up with gold? Well, gold pulling back for the day, 1.09%. You can see it right here. Gold hit its most recent high Friday morning. We can see where the high during the week last week was 203.30. Where is it now? It is at 202.41. So again, we can see the latest two-day candle dropping on off there quite considerably. I guess we could update our trend line this way. Uh, but again, you know, not reaching that prior high. But we can see 
when even when we update it on the two day and the half day or 195 minute chart, we are still above. So again, you know, we, we had a strong volume week last week. This week, not looking bad two days in and, you know, looks like it's a little less than half the way up, but that's pretty good for just two days. So, and I'm talking about halfway up to the average volume. So we'll continue to watch where gold is, but again, it is in the green. Now, what's up with HODL or the 24 hour a day Bitcoin chart? Well, pulling back some HODL down just a little below a percent, 0.97%. 24 hour a day Bitcoin down 1.46%. And again, friends, the reason I use 24-hour-a-day Bitcoin is this comes to us, I guess, from Bitstamp. That must be the provider of the information. Um, maybe it's a crypto. I, I, I just really don't know if, if it's probably one of those crypto exchanges. Maybe that's what Bitstamp is. But it's providing us with the numbers on where Bitcoin is and the volume. We don't typically go here because in the past we had... XBTF, which was our ETF for Bitcoin, and it was by Van Eck. They closed it, and then they started up HODL, so we don't have our average volume. We're just getting it on the two-day, as you can see here. Had it on the half-day for a while. you got to have 20. Uh, you have to have 20 periods, so we're only 10 going into 10 on the weekly. It'll be 10 more weeks till we get them. So in the meantime, we're using the average volume to help us see what's up. Well, lots of volume last week and the week before. This week, uh, so far, okay. You know, looks like we're at least half the way up to the average. Again, reaching a higher high on the weekly chart. High so far this week, $73,054. Last week, $70,184. So things moving in the right direction. Just a bit of a pullback still long on Bitcoin on our, and again, the reason we, we're tracking the ETF and not 24-hour a day Bitcoin is, for me, and I get to make the rules here, I am only interested in the ETF because I'm not about to, in the future, put my money into a crypto exchange and you get FTXed, which means gone. So I'm going to stick with the ETFs that are traded in the market, the ones that have been approved by the SEC and that are out there and legit. And I feel just more comfortable with that. You don't have to agree with me. I'm not giving you market advice. I am not giving you any financial advice. We are what? An education firm. I want you to practice with us. You can practice however you want. But again, remember, <coughs> the way you practice, the devotion you have to practice is going to go a long way when you finally decide to trade for real as to how you actually play. Anybody who's done well in sports knows you play the way you practice. That's why you want to practice for hard and for real. That is where we are, folks, at the end of the day. Again, gold, Bitcoin, and 20-year bonds pulling back some for the day. Stocks, just a booming. God bless, my friends. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.